The Pungsan is a Korean Spitz type of a dog which hails from North Korean mountains and is now considered to be one of the national treasures of Korea. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about the Pungsan dog. I would love to thank Sunhees Farm, Poby and Adrian for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Pungsan breed and you would love to see more of them, definitely check out their Instagram profiles. Pungsan is medium to large sized athletic and muscular dog with broad chest, strong straight legs and long tail which is curled over their back. Their average height is between 21 to 24 inches which is 53 to 61 centimeters and weight between 45 to 68 pounds which is 114 to 172 pounds. They do resemble another, probably more popular Korean breed, the Korean Jindo. The main difference between those two is that the Pungsan is a little bit bigger. If you are interested in the Korean Jindo breed, I am giving you a link in description for another Rokodok video. But back to Pungsan. Pungsans have very thick and dense coat which is protecting them in the snow and harsh mountainous climate. You can find them in white or cream color. They have the typical spitz face, which is kind of wolf-like. The Pungsan have straight muzzle, tight-fitting lips, almond-shaped dark brown eyes and triangular ears. The Pungsan is independent and dominant breed, which is also a reason why they are not the best choice for novice dog owners. They are definitely protective over their loved ones and also pretty territorial. Because of their independent nature, they need firm, patient and very consistent leader. If they are well socialized as puppies, Pungsans make great companions. They are totally loyal to their owners and family and create very strong bond with them. On the other hand, they are alert and suspicious towards strangers. But once you introduce the person to them and they get comfortable with the stranger, they are friendly towards the newcomer as well. But don't worry, they are rarely aggressive towards the strangers. They will most likely just ignore them unless they invade their personal space or territory. Then they tend to bark a lot, which makes them amazing watchdogs and protectors. This is very intelligent breed, but they are not pushovers to train. Again, this is because of their independent nature. They are just not that eager to please, just like some other breeds. But they are definitely capable of learning all the basic commands very easily. Another important fact to know is that the Pungsan has quite high prey drive. This can make them dangerous to other small pets in the household. Also, this is a reason why it's recommended to not let them off leash in unknown or unfenced areas. They are just hunters by heart and they might try to chase other small animals outside. In the year 2000, during the meeting between South and North Korea leaders, there was an exchange of puppies. The North Korean leader gifted two purebred Pungsans to South Korean president and received two purebred Jindo dogs. These two Pungsans produced another generation of puppies in South Korea. The breed's history can be traced back to the Joseon dynasty, most likely to the 17th century. They were developed as big game hunters. We cannot be sure about its ancestors. One theory says that they were developed from mastiffs and sheepdogs crossed with wolves. Another theory says that they are descendants of Siberian Lycas. There was a dark time in the history of Pungsan breed. In the first half of the 20th century, during the Japanese occupation of Korean Peninsula, they were hunted down for their thick fur, which served as material for fur coats for the Japanese military. In 1942, the breed was declared to be Korean national treasure, but Korean War reduced their numbers once again. When the war was over, the North Korean government re-established the breed, but there is not many information since then. It's because North Korea is just a very isolated country. Some Pungsans were smuggled over the Korean-Chinese border, so today they can be found in other countries as well, even though most likely they are not purebred Pungsans. Pungsan is a highly energetic breed and if you want to have a healthy and happy Pungsan in your home you will need to provide them with a lot of physical and mental exercise. They want to have plenty of room to run and romp out their energy outside. Daily longer walks are must. If you will not meet the Pungsan exercise needs they, they might become very vocal and destructive. 
Pungsan has a good lifespan between 12 to 15 years. Of course, just like all dogs, they do suffer from some health issues, most commonly from hip and elbow dysplasia, bloating, entropion, and ear infections. This is a heavy shedder, so they require frequent regular brushing to remove the dead hair and minimize the shedding. Great fact about them is that they have only a little of the typical doggy odor, which means they don't need bathing very often. Just like with all dogs, you should regularly check their ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them, if needed. Tell me in comments what do you like about the Pung San dog and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.